Hey guys, it's Vince. Today I'm going to discuss the proper installation of Artsoft's Mach 3. Um, this process is very simple. However, I get asked this question at least three to five times a week in different formats on how do I install the user's license? How do I go in and just, you know, I just want to do a basic install. How do I do it? I'm going to show you the quickest method. And regardless of the computer you're using, this process is virtually the same. Um, for those of you not familiar with what Mach 3 is, uh, please go online, do some research. You can check out some of my other videos. I don't want to go into too much detail here, but just rest assured it's your motion control software. And what it actually does is it takes your CAD CAM geometry drawings and translates that geometry into G code for access allocation on your chassis. And basically what access allocation is, guys, is just where those steppers are going to move that chassis to locations to do the cutting. So just keep in mind, I'm trying to keep the video as short and sweet as possible and streamline the entire process of installing your user's license. So first, what you're going to want to do, you're going to go over here to your Internet, of course, go to your Explorer and go up to a website called mocksupport.com. That's going to bring you to Newfangled Solutions or Artsoft, who is the distributor of Mach 3. Okay. Now, regardless if you purchase your license from me or anybody else, you can just download the software direct from the website. Okay. So don't worry about, you know, oh, I need to use the, the one that's on my disk or whatnot. The software is going to be the same no matter where you go and get it from. Um, the only thing that's different, of course, is your user's license. So now what we're going to want to do is go under software downloads and we're going to click on Mach 3. And of course, you're going to see here. And it says, you know, purchase license download page. I'm going to click on download page because you've already got your license, so you ain't not going to have to purchase it, of course. You're going to go to Mach 3, and we're going to say Mach 3 with add-ons included because Mach 3 now automatically includes all the add-ons. So you want to click on that. You're going to see you're going to get this little pop-up box. Now, guys, mind you, I'm running Windows 10. If you're running a different operating system, of course, the browser um, window as far as downloading the software may be different. So Windows 7 is slightly different. Um, Windows XP, if you're still using those archaic dinosaurs, then it'll be different in that as well. So just keep that in mind exactly of what you're using. So, again, the message should be the same. What you want to do and what I recommend doing is saving a copy just, just just to have it, um, but in this case, I'm just going to run it. And right now, you'll you'll see that it's already installed, and it'll go right into the the software installation once it does a security scan, which my system is doing now to validate that the software doesn't contain anything. Here's your warning message in Windows 10. I'm going to click on yes. Now, one thing I want to state very clearly. You cannot use Mach 3 under any operating system other than XP and Vista unless you are using a USB breakout board pending um, whether it be a UC100, which is a USB motion controller, Ethernet Smooth Stepper, which is an Ethernet motion controller, or Ethernet USB motion controller. You cannot run Mach 3 in a laptop or any other Windows operating system other than XP or Vista without utilizing that type of hardware because Mach 3 was never designed for it. So I'm running it on my laptop right now doing this installation, and I'm going to show you exactly what we'll do under this type of installation. And if you're not using a laptop and you are using an XP or uh, a Windows Vista system, again, it has to be a 32-bit operating system. I'll cover that as well. So first, what we're going to do, you can see here, I've got the program window up. It says, welcome to the installer. It's telling us the version of Mach 3 it's going to install. I'm going to click Next. Of course, you're going to agree with the terms of the licensing agreement. Click Next. Uh, Mach 3 default location folder is C Mach 3. Now, 98% of the guys are not going to change this installation folder. There's absolutely no, no need to. Uh, C drive is typically your hard drive. I'm going to install it. I'm not changing any of the naming on the software, so we're just going to click Next. Here is where it gets different if you're running a Windows 10 or window, any other Windows operating system other than XP or Windows Vista. The parallel port driver would not be installed if you're running a Windows 10 or, or a later version of Windows operating system because parallel port driver is only installed in systems that actually have a parallel port. And we all know that the only systems that have parallel ports are the dinosaurs, uh, Windows XP dinosaurs, and also uh, Windows Vista. Those systems are just crossing over into the newer um, designs of hardware where a parallel port was not readily available. So again, if you're using Windows XP, 
If you're using Windows Vista 32-bit, you want to install the parallel port driver because, of course, you'll have a parallel port. If you do not have a parallel port and are running Windows 7, Windows 8, uh, Windows 10, any of the later versions that do not have parallel ports, you do not want to install that driver. Okay, of course you don't want to install the driver if you are using a USB motion controller or an Ethernet motion controller, be it UC100, be it Ethernet Smooth Stepper, you would not want to install this driver because of course you're not going to use it. Why install something you're not going to use, right? So what we have here, the wizards are going to be installed, the XMLs, Lazy Cam will not be installed. I'm choosing not to install it. If you want to install it, you can. And screen sets. Now, guys, again, and I'm going to reiterate this, if you have a computer that you're running Windows XP or Windows Vista 32-bit, you want to install the parallel port driver if and only if you are using the parallel port output to control your system. If you plan on even using one of those systems in a USB format or Ethernet format, even if it is running Windows XP or Windows Vista 32-bit, you then would not install that driver if you're using USB or Ethernet Smooth Stepper. Okay, Any other motion controller that is not going to use a parallel port, of course you don't need that driver installed because you're not utilizing it. So just keep that in mind. I'm now going to click next because, of course, my system's Windows 10. I'm not going to install the parallel port driver as just previously discussed. I'm clicking next. Done. Custom profiles will ensure that your settings do not accidentally uh, get overwritten by future updates. It's highly recommended. Create one. I'm not doing that. I'm just showing you how to install the software. You can do that if you'd like to. Create a custom mill router. Create a custom term profile if you're doing anything with lathes. Uh, create a custom plasma water jet profile. This is totally up to you, the end user, for your application. Okay? I'm going to click next. And something else, guys, just so you know, you do not have to do this to get into the software. You could do it at a later time. So I'm just going to click next. Click next again. Now it's installing it. And again, another question I get asked all the time is, for the later computer systems, what computers do I recommend? I am an Intel i5, i7 fan. Um, AMD is okay, and they work fine. It's just my own preference, no different than Ford or Chevy. But overall, <clears throat> if you're looking at um, later versions of CAD CAM software and doing um, CAD CAM designing on the system with Mach 3, I highly recommend at least a dual to a quad-core processor. Quad-core is optimal. If you're using um, really high-end CAD CAM, that's where, again, the, the uh, optimal speed would be either i5, i7 for Intel. AMD has got their multi-core processors. That'll give you the most bang for your buck. I'm now going to click um, Finish because, of course, installation was successful. And we're all done. Now I'm going to go to my desktop. I'm going to exit out of the browser. And I'm going to go to my desktop. And you can see i got Mach 3 mil now, Mach 3 loader. And I also have, I'm just seeing if I can find it, um, Mach 3 plasma and Mach 3 turn. So now what I'm going to do, you can see here I also have my Mach 1 license.dat. Now, guys, all of the end user licenses for Mach 3 are in Mach 1 license.dat format. Okay, so I'm just going to copy this fo this file, just right click, I'll do it one more time real slow, and click on copy. And now I'm going to go over to the default location of where this, this actually installed the software, and I'm going to go to C drive. And you can see I've got Mach 3 right here, there's a folder, it's right in my C drive. I'm going to double click on it, and I'm going to just copy and paste this right into anywhere in this folder. And you can see it placed it right here. No big deal. We're all good. I'm now going to exit out of this folder. And my license for my, my end user license, I should say, is now installed for the software. That is it. Now what I'm going to do is run the software for the first time. I'm clicking on Mach 3 mil. And I'm going to click reset. And again, Right here it says license to Michael Tater, which uh, again is one of my past clients, and you can see just how easy the, the actual license as far as where it's being configured to, you can see it right there, and you're all set to go. Okay, so then you would come in here, and of course, you'd set up all of your config settings and everything else. But the main thing you want to make sure of is that your Mach 3 license is actually being reflected as being installed. If, if that's not being done, you will have issues. So we want to make sure that this license is actually being registered. And something else we can do to validate that, 
I'm going to show you real quick. If we remove that license, I'm going back into the Mach 3 folder. There's the Mach 3 license. I'm going to cut it and remove it. That's all I'm doing right now. And now I'm pasting it back to the desktop. I replace it. Done. And now what I'm going to do is try to run Mach 3 again, and it should not say anyone's name, and now it doesn't. If you look closely, it says Mach 3 Demo. And I'm going to click the reset just to reset it. So you can see this is what you normally get when you do a full install, and it just says Demo. If you do not put the license file, once again, inside the default location of Mach 3, I'm just clicking it, clicking Copy. And now I'm going to come over here, come back into PC, double click on, on the default location, which is my C drive. You can see Mach 3. I'm double clicking on the folder again, and all I'm doing is pasting that, that um, license dot file. And you can see where I placed it again. And now the system is registered. So we will come in here, and once again, I'm going to go under Mach 3, mil. That's the actual desktop, the shortcut. And you can see, there you go, there's your license file. It is now set. Now, again, everybody's license dat file is going to be different. And when I say different, it's going to say the same thing. It's going to say Mach 1 license dot dat. However, depending upon how the license is given to you. Now, remember, Artsoft and Mach 3, unless you want to pay for the retail disk, it's always delivered in a download format. Okay, that saves on the overhead of creating disks. Now, there are sites online that will offer a retail disk. Personally, um, I don't see the point in that you're paying more for something that you can download and repeatedly download. As long as you save your Mach, Mach 1 licensed at, which I back up all of my clients' uh, licensed at files. So if they ever do message me, they always can get it back. Um, and again, I don't charge them for that. Now, a lot of services they charge because, of course, it's taken up space on my drive. But again, I like to offer peace of mind. So once again, just keep in mind whether you get a USB drive, whatever you get with Mach 3 on it. And again, when I say Mach 3, you can download the software direct, and I recommend that downloading it direct from Artsoft's website, Newfangled Solutions, because if you do that, you're going to get the latest version. Once you do that, then you just follow through with exactly, like I said, step by step in this video, and you'll be set to go in getting your uh, Mach 3 license installed and having the software activated. I hope this video has been helpful. I plan on doing some more videos, guys. I've just been really busy, so please forgive me. I, I do love all you guys supporting me. I'm getting messages daily on how much you know my videos are helping, and that's what I'm really aiming to do. If you guys do have any questions, please get in touch. Um, I'm going to try to do another video later this week on some product formats. I'm getting a lot of questions on that, so I want to uh, cover some business perspectives and business model ideas. Um, other than that, I do want to thank you all. And if you guys need anything, don't be afraid to ask. Again, you can contact me at eDealersDirect on eBay. Um, or you can contact me direct through email at storm, S-T-O-R-M, 2313 at gmail.com. Thank you. Take care.